if you need to rent a car if you need to book an airbnb if you need to um maybe rent equipment if you need to buy a plane ticket some of those um expenses like that insist that you have to make purchases with your credit card hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new you're beautifully welcome thank you so much for joining my channel yet again and if you're not new you're welcome to this channel this is the happy place um make sure you subscribe down below and turn the post notification bell on so that you can get notifications each time i post a new video if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends in today's video so i'll be talking about the credit card system in canada especially for newcomers if you are coming to canada for the first time or you are moving into canada it's very important for you to understand how the credit card system works here especially if you are coming from a country that you don't use credit cards So to begin, what's a credit card? A credit card is a means of payment that allows you to make purchases or make payments without actually having that money. It's more like a loan system that an institution allows you to use a certain amount of money without you actually having that money. Then you get to pay back over time or you can pay back in full depending on how you want. So what are some important things you need to know um, regarding the credit card system? So you need to know that there is a billing cycle for every credit card. Your billing cycle could be um, from March 12th to April 12th of the coming month. It's, good. it's usually a period of one month. We could be from whatever date to the next date in the coming month. Also, you have the minimum payment. Minimum payment is the amount of money that you need to pay, the minimum amount you need to pay off your credit card bills. What is also the payment date? The payment date is usually set um, by the credit card institution to allow you that as at this date you must pay your credit card off. If you don't pay off your credit card, then you'll be charged an interest fee. And also we have credit limits. Credit limit is the maximum amount of money that your credit card allows you to make purchases up to. So some credit card limits could be about 1,000, some credit card could be 2,000, some 3,000, some 5K, some even as much as 10,000, 20,000. Um, credit limit so you can spend as much as that amount of money that your credit card allows you to spend and that's what it's called credit limit. There is what is called interest rate which is the interest prevailing at the bank that um, your credit card company charges you for your uh, the amount of money that you have used on your credit card. Say for instance um, if you don't pay off your credit card bills then you will be charged interest but if you pay off in full you would not be charged interest. So let's just give like a good example as to how this thing works. So for instance, you want to buy a pair of sneakers and the sneakers cost $100. I don't have that $100 to make that purchase, but I have my credit card and my credit card can allow me make that payment. So I go to this store or I pay online. I make the purchase for the pair of sneakers using my credit card. And that means I'm owing my credit card company $100 because I've spent $100 of my credit card. So if I have limit of $1,000, so if I have a limit of $1,000, once I make a purchase of $100 and I'm yet to pay off that money, then I'll be only able to spend um, the balance of $900 on my credit card. I will not be able to spend up to $1,000 anymore until I make the payment for the $100 in full. So if I pay $50 off the $100, then I will be able to spend up to $9.50. So how do you pay off your credit card? You can pay off your credit card using your savings account or your checking account. Your checking account is the main account that you use in Canada and you can pay your credit card with your checking account. You can also pay off with your savings account. So based on the example we are using, let's say my billing cycle is from March 15th to April 15th and my payment date is on um, 27th of April, for example. So if I don't pay off the $100 by the 27th of April, then I would be charged an interest. So but if I pay off the $100 in full, then I will not be getting any interest charge. So now if I pay off partially, let's say I don't pay off the total hundred dollars I, I paid sixty dollars instead of the old hundred dollars then i'm having a balance of forty dollars to be paid 
and the interest rate at the bank at that time is 15 percent so this means that the bank will charge me 15 percent per annum of the 40 dollars bill that i'm having left to be paid which is going to be 40 dollars by 50 percent divided by 12 months a year which would be 0 0.5 dollars which is 50 cents so uh, my balance for the end of the month would be 40 dollars and 50 cents in the coming month i will be having a bill of 40 dollars and 50 cents to be paid on my credit card so uh, let's say i did not pay anything at all you know we had looked at the scenario of me paying in full i would not have any interest if i pay partially i would be having an interest on my uh, outstanding balance and if i don't pay at all i would be charged 15 percent of the hundred dollar that I had spent that is outstanding on my credit card which would be 15 percent divided by 12 months multiplied by hundred dollars which would be one dollars and 25 cents so one dollar 25 cents plus my hundred dollar that i'm yet to pay would give me hundred and one dollars and 25 cents so my bill for the coming month or my payment by amount for the next month would be hundred and one dollars and 25 cents to be paid that would be my outstanding balance how can you get credit card in canada it's pretty easy for you to get credit card provided you have good credit score or you have good credit um, rating you would you can easily go into any store to get credit cards credit cards can be issued by banks can be issued by um large stores like walmart like um, canadian tires um also from credit card companies as well these are the places or these are some of the places you can get credit card from Obviously, you have to apply, then they check your credit rating, you check your credit score and your payment method. How, if you have been paying off your credit card, then you would be notified if you qualify for the credit card, then you get your credit card. Of course, your credit card is linked to your social insurance, is linked to your address, is linked to many information about yourself. So you cannot abscond with the money. How can you use your credit card? You can use your credit card to make purchases in stores. You can use it to make purchases online. You can use it to make car rental if you need to rent a car. There are some stores that would not take credit card from you. They only take debit. I know a Chinese store that only takes debit card. And there are some stores, there are some purchases you want to make that would only accept credit from you. Say for instance, most especially rentals. If you need to rent a car, if you need to book an Airbnb, if you need to... Um, maybe rent equipment if you need to buy a plane ticket some of those um, expenses like that insist that you have to make purchases with your credit card and why is this because sometimes they might take a hold or make a hold on your credit card balance but if you have if you're using like a debit card and you don't have money in that account obviously they can't make a hold on it but your credit card it would allow them make a hold on it and if you return the equipment in one piece or the same way you um rented it then they would refund you back your money they wouldn't charge you that money it's just like a hold so what are the benefits of using your credit card of course it's convenient if you um, need to make a purchase you don't need to go around looking for cash um how to make this payment you can just use your credit card it's very easy for you to buy stuff online because most of the time it's usually a visa card or a mastercard then you can make payments with your credit card conveniently Another benefit of using the credit card is it helps you build your credit score and your credit rating in countries like Canada and the US and like major countries that uh, is credit dependent. Using your credit card helps you build your credit history. When you need to buy a mortgage, when you need to finance a car, when you need to do some of those things that they would have to look at your credit score, the using your credit card would have helped you build your credit history such that you can easily um, make those purchases. Also, you could get like points or reward by using your credit card. So, so my own credit card company allows you to get like points from when you use your credit card. You can get points for, you can use the points to like buy tickets to see the movies. You can shop online with it. You can even use the credit card to, you can also use the credit card rewards to pay off your credit card balance. Another benefit is the financial reason, obviously. So you want to make a purchase for a laptop, for example, and uh, maybe you got a gig that you need to deliver the service and you don't have a laptop to do that job because the credit card is available. You can go ahead, let's say you have 2,000 limits on your credit card, you can go ahead and make purchase online to buy the laptop, then you can deliver that service. And at the end of the day, you can pay back the credits that you had used on your credit card.
so finances is also one of the benefits of having a credit card So now very important question that people or newcomers in Canada ask is should I use my credit card or must I use my credit card? Obviously you are not mandated to use your credit card but it's very very beneficial and important for you to use it. Like I've said if you use your credit card it helps you build your credit history and when you need to make important purchases later maybe you need to buy a mortgage or you need to buy a car uh, you can your credit history will be pulled up and Using your credit card would have been helping you build your credit rating and that way you'll be able to qualify for buying that mortgage or buying whatever it is based on your credit history. What should you use your credit card for? Obviously, I wouldn't tell you what you should buy or what you should not buy. But when you want to make purchases like um, online shopping, grocery shopping, you need to buy a plane ticket, you need to like buy things, then you can use your credit card to make this payment. But don't use your credit card to like transfer money to people. If you need to like make payments to other people, don't transfer from your credit card because if you do, you'll be getting a charge, obviously. Um, if you transfer from your credit card account to your savings account or your checking account, obviously you'll also be getting a charge that way. So basically, just use your credit card to make purchases online, offline, in stores, in person, anywhere you want to buy things, you can use your credit card to make those purchases. So you should ensure that you pay off your credit card bill um, on or before the payment due date. If you don't pay off your credit card bill as at that date, then you'll be getting charged based on the interest rate at that period. Remember that the interest you'll be charged is not the monthly interest rate, it's per annum. So the interest rate divided by 12% is what you would be charged. I know it sounds like pretty easy when you say, okay, so I'm having a balance of $40 and if it's 15%, then I'm just getting 25 cents. Why not? It's a good one because it's just $40. How about when you have spent up to 4,000 or you are owing um, 800 or you're owing some ridiculous amount of money like that and you are being charged interest on monthly basis. It's crazy. That's how people get into, um, into those crazy debts. That's how people get into all those crazy debts. So you want to be careful when you're using your credit card. Ensure to shop with the right thing. Ensure to use your credit card to make the right purchases. Ensure you are paying off your balance when it's due. Ensure that you are taking care of your credit card the way you should. Be careful if you get a charge. When your credit card statement is ready, go through it to ensure that the purchases that are in that credit card statement are the one you actually did make. If you did not make any of those purchases or it's suspicious to you, you can report it to your credit card company and they can um look into it they, and they can look into it to tell you more details about what the charge was for then if it's something that it's approved by you then you can go ahead and leave it if it's not then you can dispute it with your credit card company they can make a charge back for you or something like that based on some conditions that they must have set in place so that will be it for this video. I hope you guys learned something about the credit card system in Canada. Let me know if you have questions. Please ensure to leave the questions in the comment section. If you are yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing right away. If you enjoy watching this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share with your friend. Subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay confident. Bye-bye.